a bit of time has elapsed oh, I'm back on this job it uh, just went on the back burner for a while until we worked out who was paying and uh, and that they realized it's actually quite a sizable job so uh, this morning I've been busy with a spade just uncovered these rocks got all the uh, loose stuff off like the ones over there it was fairly heavily covered and some big clay deposits too it was quite a bit of a workout with a spade um, yeah so spade it off swept it and now I'll just use the compressed air to get all the final loose stuff off then I'll mark it out and drill some holes That's it for today, 58 holes, um, just knocking off a bit early, got to go home, unload everything out the back of the ute, go down to the transport company, pick up a pallet of Expando, the cracking goo from John, for the job around the corner. So uh, early day, on this job anyway, still working for a while yet, cheers. There's the new drill, all set up, ready to go. Excellent. Contact. Come on, baby. Well, the weather forecast got it right today rain I was going to um, not come out today but when I had a closer look it said uh, rain from 2 o'clock and it's quarter to 2 now and it's just starting to rain and there's a fair bit on the radar so I'm going to pack up and get out of here 
It's been a good day though with this new drill, the CP69. Yeah, it's um, it's a rocket. It really is. Oh. It's uh, look very similar in operating characteristics to my all-time favourite, the Silver Bullet, that um, broke on this job recently. The handle come off it. It's quite smooth to operate. It's very powerful. Quite heavy though, and a bit long. It's a bit too long, really, for a short ass like me bird I can make do it's uh, you know a bit difficult doing 600 mil steel changes but if I went to 400 so it'd be really easy um, yeah but it smashes down the holes really quickly which is great um, the kick retainer is uh, good unlike the retainer on on these drills the uh, Atlas style drills that always get floppy and don't work very well. However, one serious shortfall I have noticed with the kick retainer is when you're drilling like up against the wall over there to pre-split against the wall, the back face of the drill is at the wall and you can't get your foot in there to kick it to get the drill steel out when you're at the bottom of the hole and want to change rods. It's okay if you've got just one rod in there, you can heave it out, but if you've got two or more, that's a serious problem. Never thought of that. But uh, yeah, it's good to use. I'm just running it on 90 PSI instead of 100. Um, I cranked the compressor down recently. And the main reason is because this drill here is the only one of that style I've got that's working at the moment. The other three are in for a rebuild. And the only reason that one is not worn out is that it's an absolute dog to use. It's very high vibration on 100 PSI, but if you run it on 90, it's all right. Now, it's identical to the other three, um, but I don't know why. We've pulled them apart and looked inside and measured stuff, measured all sorts of things, and it just seems the same, but horrible to use on 100 PSI. So I've been running it on 90. All right, a few spots of rain, so I'm going to pack up and get out of here. Thanks for watching. Another good day for blasting. So I'm back at Lister Field and today is blast day. 31 holes loaded there in uh, three clusters, five with cord, so I'll have a delay between each cluster. And uh, that should send it. So uh, thanks for tuning in and we've got a few days worth of blasting work here. So stay tuned. Shot number one, 31 holes. Shot number two, 21 holes, all with uh, non-L downhole debts and service delays, one hole per delay. All right, that should fix that right up.
we have here we have a very active 31 hole shot stand by hang on to your hats She's still smoking. Yep. Oh yeah. Looking good. Excellent. Yep. Looking good. Looking good. That's good fragmentation. Day two, shot one, five holes. Pretty horrible bit of rock. Every one of these holes went through the bottom. So I had to stem them short. First shot, so it's uh, five holes in that rock there. It's probably gonna pop a bit out. But never mind, cheers. This one's uh, shot two on day two. Just 11 holes with cord, two delays. And it's raining. Uh, day two, shot three, 20 holes. So the last lot of holes were just where the excavator is sitting and uh, in front. This is the next shot. Uh, it's day two, shot number four. 19 holes. Nine with cord. Ten with nine holes and these two big bits of rock. Morning. A few visitors on the site this morning. There's Skippy. Yes, we really do have kangaroos just jumping around here. All over the place. Lots of them. Alright, I'll um I'll get back to it.
Day three, shot one, 27 holes.
here we go, biggest shot for the job, 40 holes, just about to cover up. It's going to take quite a bit of dirt for this one. Plus two, 40 holes, so it might just pop out a bit on the right hand end closest to me. Let's see how we go. Welcome to Monday in Paradise. Back on the rocks again. There's this piece remaining and it didn't get drilled because it was mostly obscured by another big rock on top of it there and rocks on top of down here. And in between there was just a mountain of soil that was too much to shift with a spade. So I've cleaned it off, marked it out and I'm gonna trial some drills. I've just got back from repair. Uh, these three starting left to right just come back from repair as well as another one which I've already tested which is good so Greg's had a bit of a rebuild on these first two are both um, RH658 copies made by MDS in India good drills good value for money but I wore them out so they've got new bits in them now we'll see how they go next along's my all-time favorite the Holman Silver Bullet from 1955 the uh, handle broke off this one here a few weeks ago uh, it's cast, but I've got Greg to carefully re-weld that and dowel it, so hopefully that holds. And of course the uh, new CP69 made by Global uh, Mining Equipment, also in India. 
and that's a rocket of a drill I love that anyway so we'll drill a couple of holes uh, I think I'll go three holes each and time them and we'll take the average of the three and uh, see how they sort of stack up stay tuned Just gearing up for uh, day four, shot one. It's a uh, 63 hole shot, one hole per delay, control row echelon hookup, 25 milliseconds on the echelon rows, which is not ideal, but that's sort of all I had. Yeah, that'll fix it up. Then just a little bit over there and uh, a little bit down there and we'll be done for now till I want to get the storm water in and uh, retaining wall footings and whatever else comes next driveway yeah we'll see day four shot one 
It got a bit bigger at 72 holes in all now. So hang on tight. She's still smoking. Well, that lifted up pretty well. Good result for a whole lot of wet holes and holes making water and other miserable things you don't really need. So it was a mix of um, some holes with all packaged emulsion, some with a bit of AMFO. But uh, good, happy with that. Another job completed, for now anyway. That's all the uh, site cleared. Next comes retaining wall footing of some sort, not sure what that's going to be yet and we've got to get a storm water up the middle there and down the driveway and make a driveway too so I'll be back so um, thanks for watching, thanks to Specialised Plumbing and Drainage too for their help with a digger and uh, see you soon. <laughs>